hello what's up ali here and today we are going to show you how to install a fantuna on our ps2 but let us start first with explaining what fantuna is and what it does well fantuna is the upgraded version of fortuna which is an exploit that we can use to our ps2 to be able to play ps1 and ps2 games using usb or external hard drive though the best exploit that we can install to our ps2 is macboot unfortunately it does not work on ps2 model with 90k and up so we'll have to use a different approach to be able to install fantuna or fortuna and since fantuna is the better version that is what we are going to use on this video and one more thing we are going to need a, a MacBook or a uh, working Fantuna to be able to install Fantuna on this video. So if you don't have any exploit yet, I'd recommend to check our other video how to install a MacBook using a DVD boot. Though depending on your PS2, you may not be able to install MacBook. But uh, on that video, I have showed how to create a DVD boot which we can use uh, to install fantuna so if you don't have an exploit yet please go ahead and check that video and uh, you can you may proceed on this video as long as you have any approach or any exploit on your ps2 now if you already have a mac boot why do you need fantuna well uh, you will need this in case you have a, uh, a different ps2 that does not support mac boot or you have a friend's ps2 or you have a different ps2 either way there will be some cases that you will need a fantuna and that is what we are going to show you on this video so let us go ahead and proceed on our video and let us start with uh, downloading our files. On our description, you'll find uh, the links of our files that we need as well as uh, the video on how to install or how to create a DVD boot. So just open the link and scroll down a little until you get to this part here and click on this area to download the file. So if it's not working, there is a mirror here so you can also download the file by clicking on this area. And since I already have it here, I no longer have uh, to save this one. So for the OPL file, again, open the link on our description. And just scroll down a little. And you can download the file by clicking on this area. So let us uh, go ahead and save them uh, on the same directory. Now once we have those files, so we can go ahead and prepare our USB to be able to install this on our PS2. First, we have to make sure that our device is on 532. So right click on the drive, then click on properties, and you should see here file system 532. So once we have uh, prepared our drive, let us go ahead and extract our files. Uh, on the extracted folder of our Fantuna, you will see these files. Uh. So what we only need here are the ulaunchl folder and the Fantuna RTPSU. Now let us go ahead and uh, transfer or copy this uh, to our USB thumb drive. Next is our OPL, so let us just go ahead and extract it here. And uh, on the extracted folder, let us open this and open this folder again. This is what we need, so let us go ahead and uh, copy or transfer this on our USB thumb drive. Okay, so once we have all of the files that we need, let us go ahead and proceed to our PS2. Back on our PS2, we have uh, to run the U launcher, so either we use a Mac boot or a uh, working uh, Fantuna or a DVD boot. So once you have any access to your launcher, just go ahead and launch. And we have uh, to run uh, a compatible U launcher that is designed for Fantuna. And uh, since we already have that on our USB, let's go ahead and browse uh, the content of our USB. So open the file browser. And here on the mask, we can see all of the contents of our USB. So if you don't see anything here on the mask, that means that your PS2 does not recognize or does not read your USB. So either you format that to FAT32, or just use a different USB. So once we are here, we have uh, to run uh, the U launch that we have uh, just transferred to our USB. This is the one. Now inside that folder, let us run this working U launch that elf. And this will take us to a different uh, U launcher that will allow us uh, to install our Fantuna. So let us go back to our USB, back to the file browser, and mass. Back on our USB, we need to copy the Fantuna-R2.psu on the memory card where we are going to install the Fantuna. So here, let's press R1 and copy. Now let us go to the memory card where we are going to install our Fantuna. So in our case, I have a different memory card on the first slot and we can find that or we can access that on the MC0. So from here, let us press R1 and click on PSU paste. So let me uh, clear this one. Don't just paste the file. Click on the PSU paste. Now let us just wait for this to finish.
after the transfer while you are still here on this new launcher if you want to change uh, your OPL to be able to run PS1 games you have to do it here on this new launcher because if you do that on a different new launcher you may corrupt uh, the file of the Pantona so let us go back to our USB where we save uh, the OPL that supports PS1 games so this is the file so just uh, press R1 and copy and let us go back to our memory card and uh, here on the boot folder so our Fantuna has been preloaded uh, with uh, different alpha files uh, but unfortunately the OPL file that comes with it does not support PS1 games so we have to replace it with an OPL version that supports PS1 games uh, so let us go ahead and delete this one first R1 then delete then R1 again then uh, click on paste once we have a uh, transferred our OPL here all we have to do now is just uh, load or run our Fantuna so I will remove uh, my other memory card and I will just leave uh, the memory card where we install the Fantuna and uh, reset our PS2 so while you're here on the browser on the memory card where we have installed Fantuna and you should see here a white dot this is the, an indication that you have uh, successfully installed the Fantuna. You should not see here any corrupted file. Though there is a corrupted data on the top right corner of the screen, but that is okay. But if you see here, corrupted file with the cube, that means our Fantuna has been corrupted. So if that happens, you will have to install the Fantuna all over again. So uh, if you see this white dot, not any corrupted uh, files, just go back on the browser and back again and your ps2 should load the mac boot again if you entered the memory card and you see a corrupted cube files that means that your fantuna has been corrupted if you see a white dot with the corrupted data on the upper right area of the screen that is okay so once you have reached this part uh, congratulations you have successfully installed fantuna on your ps2 with this you will be able uh, to enjoy mac boot on any version uh, or any model of your ps2 and play ps1 and ps2 games using a usb or external hard drive on your ps2 let us uh, just go ahead and show you how uh, to load the ps1 or ps2 games so here on this part we can just go ahead and choose open ps2 loader So here on the OPL, if you have a USB or external hard drive properly loaded with PS2 and PS1 games, you should see them here. And if you want to know how to play PS1 and PS2 games using USB or external hard drive, we have a video and I will leave the link on our description. Just go ahead and check that. So this is it for our video. If you had some issues or concerns, please go ahead and leave that on our comment section and I will definitely address that. And uh, soon I will uh, create another video so that I can properly address and answer those concerns. And uh, again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe so that I may be able to continue creating these kinds of videos. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.